Hey guys, welcome back to Friends of Mineral Town on the Switch. Today we are continuing on our playthrough. I'm just going to check the weather. There's weather. <laughs> Nothing good on TV. Okay, bye. So yeah, we're just in the beginning of spring still. And I don't think there's any if festivals coming up till quite a while later in the season. So right now we're just trying to make some money so we can get some animals. And there's not a whole lot else to do in the beginning of the game. Just kind of want to get some crops going, get some money. Oh, all right. My watering can already went up a level. Well, that was quick. I guess I have been using it quite a bit. But yeah, next week the new story of Season Games, Seasons Game <laughs> comes out. And I'm super excited for it. I was tempted to cancel my pre-order because a lot of people have been talking about some issues with the game, but I'm going to keep it because I really love these games. And even if it's not perfect right away, I'm sure I'll come back to it in a few months and the DLC will be out then. And yeah, I'm just uh, excited to have another farming game to play, honestly. Uh, if you're interested in farming games, there are quite a few out there that are being made by indie developers. Which is really nice because I feel like um, AAA devs don't really see the appeal of farming slash life sims. But there's definitely an audience out there for it. People like me. <laughs> uh, I'm not really into like first person shooters. Or like um, cinematic walking simulators as I call them. Those kind of games are fine for some people, but they're not really what I'm interested in. So I like games that make me think, and I like games that um, challenge me when it comes to like turn-based RPGs or strategy. But I also like games that I can just, you know, relax and just, just have a pleasant experience. Hey guys, what's going on? Huh? Well, hey, fancy seeing you here, Mika. Right now, Mom is watching the store and Rick is feeding the chickens. Oh, okay. Did I, did I need to know that? I guess I did. That was very important that she told me that. Yes, yes. I'm bringing you something every day. I suppose I might go in that hot spring, honestly, because it, took, it takes a lot of your energy early in the game just to uh, water a few crops. What's this nature weirdo have to say? Hello, Mika. What brings you to me today? The energies that radiate from this mountain do much to soothe my soul. Okay, she's still weird. <laughs> We're not talking to Brandon, because I'm pretty sure I know what he's going to say. What? What do you want? Oh, there's a monkey! Oh, come back, monkey. We can be friends. Don't you want to be my pet? I don't know if you've ever played Trio of Towns. That was a Story of Season game that was on uh, the 3DS. But that game, you could actually befriend wild animals, I believe. It's been a while, so I may be completely lying, but... <laughs> I seem to recall there was, like, a feature where you could tame wild animals. And right, we're just chilling in the onsen here. I'm not gonna get all my energy back. I think that's enough. As I've said, time does go really quickly in this game, so I don't want to waste too much time just doing nonsense. But I'm going to go ahead and ship a few things now before I forget. <laughs> before Zack comes really quickly. Let's check our farm map. Um, okay, our grass is still growing over there, just slowly. I want that grass to keep growing so that I can have cows and stuff at some point. We do have a little bit of money now, but I'm not going to buy any more seeds. Oh, the music of this game is so nostalgic for me. Like playing this game back on the G- How did you get here before me? Playing this game back on the GBA was like, so good. Do you guys remember the GBA though? There was no backlight, so... I remember it was really hard to see the screen at times. <laughs> like, you had to have a light on. Oh, hey, what's going on, Sibara? 
<laughs> you seem to be doing well. Try not to work yourself too hard. Hello. Can I help you? No. Let's see, how much does that backpack cost? A bigger bag, I mean. Oh, 3,000? Get out of here, that's too expensive. Just a humble farmer, I can't afford that. Oh, hello. Hi there, lady, you a traveler? What, you moved onto that farm? Neat, I live on one too. I'm May, nice to meet you, lady. But I guess we didn't meet her last time. Oh, Miss McFarms a lot. Oh, wow, that's so rude. Hello, Mika. Good weather is such a blessing. That kid is a jerk. Oh, hello. My, my, now isn't this unusual? Look over there, it's Brandon. Why, well, I can't remember the last time I saw him come down into town. Brandon? You mean that slightly eccentric... Actually, no, I won't miss mince words. That's highly strange hermit? Yes, that's him, and here he is gracing our town with his unique presence. I hear he's supposed to be very easy on the eyes and an excellent artist, but also, well, very, very strange. Oh yes, I've heard the same. Aren't you guys married? Rude is that he's a world-famous artist, you know. Why, well, I hear that rich people from all over are lining up to pay top dollar for his works. In fact, a little birdie told me that his bank account has a positively mind-boggling number of zeros in it. Oh, that makes him way more attractive. Like, ten times more handsome. Where on earth did you hear something like that? Oh, she's got a crush. Ah, oh, handsome, handsome gentleman staring pensively at the clouds. Now that's what I call art. Handsome and rich is quite the one-two punch, that's for sure. Oh, just look at that divine expression of Anui as he gazes wistfully at the heavens above. I wonder, do you think he might be interested in taking my little... Adge? Adge? What kind of name is that? As a bride? She isn't living in town right now, but I can't say when she'll come back. But it, that isn't that bad, right? Worse than bad, I'd say. Hard to date someone you've never met when they aren't even here. But anyway, you will not believe what happened yesterday. Ugh, I can hardly believe it myself. Oh, now this I need to hear a dish. Who's with those two? Enough. I cannot take another moment of this. Ugh, will they never cease? Hmm? Am I alright, you ask? Why would I not be? I was simply waiting for this guy to present me with my next duty to fulfill. A veritable flood of information will rush down from on high if you only look up. Organizing it is no small feat. All the voices in my head clamoring for attention right now it takes all my might simply to put them in order. Was I talking to myself? Uh, I apologize. I think he's crazy. When I take an afternoon stroll, there are times when inspiration strikes me like a bolt from the blue. Breathing the fresh air as I walk must energize the font of inspiration within me until it overflows. Now then, my thoughts have finally been corralled into some semblance of order, so I'll be on my way. Good day. Okay... So after chewing on the idea a little, the idea of a parent deciding who the their child will marry seems ridiculously out of date to me. Really, it's just silly. How could I expect Adj to be happy with anyone not of her own choosing? In fact, she may not even get want to get married. Oh, blah, blah, blah. They're just gossiping. Where did Branham go? He was just here a second ago. I guess artists are the impatient sort. You guys have husbands and families. No, I don't know how to feel right now. Guess she's here too now. Okay, that's... Mm, the new characters, Brandon and uh, Jennifer, is that her name? They're a little bit odd. They're odd ducks. We'll, we'll say that. Can't wait till I can get a fishing rod. How do I get a fishing rod, actually? You know what? I think you have to go to Zach's place. Maybe I have to go here earlier in the day or something. What do you sell? Cabbage seeds. Hmm. The flowers are not really worth planting in this game. Like, they, they get you very little money. Cabbage, on the other hand. Does that regrow? No, I don't think it does. 
Um, let's go ahead and do it because I want money. <laughs> As I've said, you have to invest in, in seeds in order to make money in this game, early especially. I don't know, some Harvest Moon games are a little less reliant on seeds because you can you can forage stuff and you can kind of make do with what little you find but this game relies a little more heavily on crops which i guess i like because i do like um the farming aspects of these games hey zach you having a good time there I guess we'll go ahead and plant the cabbage seeds. I feel like one of those potato seeds will probably be ready soon anyway. Got some money, that's always good. Let's see here. Let's get rid of that. Yeah, so I feel like I was saying something about um, indie Harvest Moon games a while ago. I kind of forgot what I was saying, but um, there's a game called Coral Island that is in development right now, and it looks really good. It's like a Harvest Moon type game, but set in like a tropical setting. And there's a lot of diversity in the cast, which is really neat. Um, yeah, it just, it looks like it has a lot of features, and it got um, like... It was a Kickstarter, I believe, and it got backed by a lot of people, so um, they ended up like reaching way further goals than they planned originally. So yeah, there's going to be a bunch of stuff in the game that they've added just because they got such a great response from it, which is really cool to see. I like it when developers um, give back to the community. I mean, if you look at Stardew Valley, it was only made by one person, so... I And he's still updating the game, which is, like, insane to me. I will admit I bought Stardew Valley on, like, three consoles, because that game is just so worth it. It's also reasonably priced, as well. Speaking of another reasonably priced life sim, Littlewood is really good. Um, Littlewood was just released on the Switch, but it's also on Steam. It's probably good on both of them. I have it on Switch, and it's really fun. It's it's a little bit more pixel even than Stardew Valley, but it's um you can like build your town from the ground up basically, and there's a lot of customization. You can really do whatever you want. I'll probably stream it at some point because it would be a, a cool game to stream. Yes. But yeah, um, I'm happy that a lot of people are making these kind of games. Wish more people would make Pokemon type games. Um, although, there is a game that's called Nexamon. Um, Nexamon Extinction that I bought uh, sometime last year, I think. It's kind of like a Pokemon clone. <laughs> but it's a cool game. It's got some funny dialogue. I like funny dialogue in games. It's gonna rain tomorrow, that's good news for the crops. Ultra, no thank you. We've got farming to do, we don't have time to sit around watching TV. Although, tomorrow is Saturday in the game. <laughs> so, Saturday morning cartoons are amazing. I don't know if you ever watched Saturday morning cartoons when you were a kid. Or maybe you're a kid right now. But when I was a kid, I would watch like Pokemon and Yu-Gi-Oh, Winx Club, Don't Judge Me. Let's see, what else did I watch? I guess I watched some Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. That's been around a long time, hasn't it? When I was really little, I would watch like Flintstones. Uh, I'm trying to think what else. Scooby-Doo, I guess. Scooby-Doo's been around a long time, too. I feel like there's been so many incarnations of that. I don't even know anymore. It's probably all CGI now. I just wish that everything... Whoops. I wish everything was uh, hand-drawn still, because... I don't know, I guess I hearken back to the days of yore when everything was hand-drawn. It's like how um, the new Story of Seasons game doesn't have the face portraits when you talk to people. I can do without the face portraits, but at the same time, like, it's 
it's a staple of the franchise and it's just i don't know characters are so much more expressive when you have like 2d there's just something about 3d that's kind of like you just can't convey the same emotion and i still think i'll enjoy the characters but just kind of have to take it for what it is i guess All right, I have almost no stamina. <gasps> Maybe I planted a few too many crops, but that's uh, all right. We're gonna be fine. The nice thing about this game is that they give you the hot spring right away. Like in Stardew Valley, you have to unlock the hot spring. Oh, hello, gods. See you later. See, I don't think I can hit these yet, right? No. Oh yeah. I don't know why I'm talking to you. You're a weird nature person. Not that I have anything against nature, and nature is great. I don't know why, but my computer does not like this area of the game. <laughs> I guess there's just a little bit too much going on. With like the monkey and the petals and stuff. That's alright. Well, let's go ahead and um, oh, let's give a flower to the harvest goddess and then get a little bit of energy so we can chop a few more things. I just want to get a little bit of lumber and material stone because we will need that for upgrading. But it is very generous of this game to give you a coop and a barn from the beginning. I was a little skeptical about the chibi graphics when I first saw a trailer of this game. But it's really grown on me. It's very... Very simple, but like in a, a good way. Like a nice relaxing way. Everyone has big heads, but it's alright. It's not because they're full of themselves. Except for Doctor, who is a jerk. Always. But nobody, nobody likes Doctor. Except for Ellie. We need to get her someone else. Maybe Ellie could go for Kai. Of course, Kai's only here, like, in the summer. <laughs> and Potpourri's kind of all over him. Maybe Ellie could go for Rick. I didn't used to like Rick. He's kind of crazy, but... In this one, he's a little bit less crazy? Question mark? I don't really know what I'm doing. I'm just kind of going around to see if I can uh, forage anything. Jennifer always teleports into this area, it seems like. I don't know if the game actually teleports her or if she just, like, you don't actually see her walking and then she's just there. It kind of seems like teleportation. Can I get to the shipping bin before Zack? I think I can. Zack also teleports. <laughs> he just appears on your farm. Alright. Once I have enough money, I'll stop selling everything. I'll actually hold on to a few things. The honey and the grapes are really useful in this game for getting the harvest sprites to like you. Um, so... Uh, okay, that's great, Zack. I'm busy. <laughs> But yeah. Also, I'm going to pick up a few weeds because I think you actually want to hold on to a few of those. I think you can actually use these for something. I can't remember what. There's not like crafting in this game. But I feel like there's something you can use these for. I also like that you can jump over stuff. It's kind of funny. Let's see, we're not gonna call it a day just yet. Another thing you can do in this game to get your um, skills up is you can actually just use your tool over and over on nothing. 
I'm not even joking. You can use it on literally nothing and your skill will still go up for it. So that is nice because, for instance, if there aren't any rocks that you can hit, you can just hit the floor in your house over and over. Or you can water the floor in your house. I've definitely never done that. Never. But you can do that if you need to raise your tool level. Yes, I know you're tired. It's okay, you're gonna be fine. You're gonna be just fine. I'm just gonna chop a couple more here. Alright, let's call that a day. Bag's pretty full with weeds. <laughs> Weeds, rocks, and, and wood. There we go. I don't know. I usually save at nighttime. I don't know why. What do you guys do? Do you save in the in the morning in these games or at night? That's the only complaint I have about Stardew Valley, honestly, I think. Is that you can't save whenever you want. Because I have definitely gone into the mines and gotten completely trounced. <laughs> And had to start the entire day over again. And it's... Ugh, it's it's not it's not a good time. Let me tell you. It is not a good time. Oh, I have more turnip seeds. I didn't even realize. Oh, good. We finally have something to harvest. Yes. Also, it's really quiet because it's raining. <laughs> I guess we can't have happy fun time music now. There we go. I suppose I could start giving the honey and grapes to the harvest sprites now. Guess. Yeah, we'll get a decent amount from that. Got one slightly better turnip. Let's see how much is that going to give me? 500? Now we're just going to ship it all today, I think. Hold off on the harvest sprites. Aha! Perfect. That's what I was hoping for. Uh, you know what, though? We actually need to go into the mine, I just realized. We haven't gone mining at all. This is a perfect day to do it because it's raining. But I need to get the hoe because that's the only way to go down levels. Now, I will say this. This game has a trick for the mine because um, basically you have to keep tilling the soil till you find the next stairs down. And sometimes that can be quite a lengthy process, and it can take a lot of your stamina. So what I usually do is I save and reload when I find the stairs. Um, I'm not going to do that, do that right now, because I don't think I need to go very far to find what I want to find. Yeah, you can find ores and jewels. You use the hammer and the hoe. The deeper you go, you find better stuff. Sometimes there's traps yeah that's pretty much all you need but i think oh yeah there's some copper right there so you can find copper from the first floor and that's basically what i wanted because i will want to upgrade my axe at some point and also the watering can too let's just see if i can find anything good mostly finding copper which is good so we'll just call it a day there because uh, that's all i wanted <laughs> I mean, I guess I could try to find... It's probably going to take forever. Oh, you do sometimes find money. Sometimes you find grass as well. Well, this will get my hoe skill up a little bit. Oh, hello. Okay, well, let's go ahead and break some rocks. I have the stamina, and there's... When it's raining, there's not much to do besides go to the mine. Go fishing if you have a fishing rod. <laughs> I don't have one yet. I can't remember if you have to go into Zach's house at like a specific time. Maybe we'll go over there and check before it gets too late. I can ship some of this copper as well because I don't need all of it. Oh boy. It's a little hard to... Okay. A little hard to aim the hammer sometimes. Come on. <laughs> I'm sorry if my controller is kind of loud, by the way. <laughs> I 
I noticed that my microphone does pick it up sometimes. It's, um, I'm using the Hori controller, and it is a very loud controller. <laughs> I forgot that time doesn't pass when you're in the mine. That's that's very convenient. Now let's just get a little bit of energy back. Just in the hot spring in the rain. <laughs> and I think that's good. Okay. I don't think copper is worth too much, but I'm going to go ahead and sell some anyway. We got a bunch extra. And I'm also gonna sell this scrap ore even though it's worth like nothing. Yeah, it's not worth that much, but it's something. <clears throat> the town is really empty, I feel like, on days when it rains. It's not like that where I live. <laughs> when it rains here, nobody cares because it rains all the time. We'll let that branch live for today. And that branch too. Alright, Zach, do you have a fishing rod for me? No? Okay, maybe I have to wait till a specific day. It'd be nice to get that fishing rod. That's going to help us get money. If we don't get it soon, I may look up when we get it, because I'm trying to remember. Spring Derby is coming on the 18th? Alright. Yeah, that's the one that you can kind of... There's some kind of um, way that if you do it just right, you can get like... I want to say you can make like a million G or something. The most I think I've ever made is like... 50,000 or 100,000. You have to get really lucky. I guess I don't usually get lucky. <laughs> Let's clear a little more of the farm before we call it, call it a night. I will admit sometimes in these games I go to bed really early. <laughs> like as soon as I use up my stamina, I'm just like, okay, i go to bed now. Go to bed at 2 p.m. That seems reasonable. It is nice that they give you such a big farm, though. I have to say, the farm in Stardew Valley sometimes... I'm sorry to keep talking about Stardew Valley, by the way. <laughs> but sometimes that farm feels a little too big, almost. Like, I get lost on it. <laughs> it's it's that big that I get lost. What was this sign for? Oh, the silo, right. Yeah, you start with a silo, and you start with a stable, too. I know at some point they're going to bring me a uh, horse... I mean, I have a stable, so it kind of makes sense. Wait, what am I doing? <laughs> uh, just having a brain fart there. Alright, that's day done. Got a little bit of copper, at least. Okay, now we're making a little bit of money. Still gonna be a while before we can afford a uh, bigger bag, but looks like we can actually afford a chicken now. I'm not sure how much chicken feed costs, though. I don't want to go too crazy in case um, chicken feed is expensive. I don't think it's expensive, but maybe I'll hold off buying a chicken just yet. But since we're starting to make some money, I could go ahead and oops, water the same square. <laughs> we could go ahead and start giving stuff to the harvest sprites. It'd be nice if they would help us out, because uh, it does take a lot of my stamina to do all this watering. And I'd like to plant even more than this. Maybe I got a little overambitious for the beginning of this game. Hey, 
It's kind of hard to believe, honestly, that this game came out so long ago. I mean, this remake added, like, updated graphics and a few new cutscenes, maybe, but... Um... The, yeah, the core gameplay is the same as the original. And so it just goes to show, like, what a solid game it was back in the day. What level is my watering can now? Oh yeah, I can upgrade my watering can to silver already. <laughs> that level's up so quickly. It's only day eight. <laughs> oh, I know. I'm already getting tired too because it takes so long to do all this watering. Okay. Okay, we're good now. Alright, let's see. Let's go find out what's going on with the harvest sprites. Say, hey, Zach. Okay, I won't. If I push myself too hard, I know you're gonna yell at me anyway. Is Cliff in the church? Oh, he is. Hey, Cliff. Hmm. Is it- is it okay that I- That you what? You can't just leave me hanging like that, dude. Come on. Oh, Popery's here. I wonder what the point of the church is. Like, what's what's it supposed to be for? Whenever I ask Father Carter about it, he only says, good question. Okay. Yeah, so Popery doesn't know what a church is. How old is she again? Alrighty, here's the harvest sprites. I guess they're called nature sprites now. I call them harvest sprites. But yeah, basically you give them stuff and eventually they'll start helping you out with the farm. Hello, Mint. I know you like it. Now, if you ask them for help right now, they're not going to actually help you. I think you need like a full heart with them or two hearts. I can't remember. Let's check. You can always check your friendship at any time here. So right now they have two um, music notes. Oh, I guess they don't have hearts. Okay. Yeah, I think you need the music notes to be like three or four or something. They won't help you after just one gift. <laughs> you have to give them several. Uh, we will do that. And then basically they'll water all my crops for me no matter how much I have. I think it takes them less time the more they like you, or the better they get at watering, but it doesn't really change too much. Fishing rod? Fishing? Fishing rod? Okay. Guess we can't go fishing yet. <laughs> so the only thing I wanted to do in my entire life was just fish. Now my life is ruined. Oh well, let's go see, uh... Let's go check out the chicken place. I don't remember what's called. What's it called? Co po Co poultry. That is the dumbest name I've ever heard of. I like pretty much everyone in town except for Kai. I can't stand that no good bum. He drifts in like low tide in the summer, turns the town on its head, and then disappears whenever he pleases. Okay, you've got a. Uh, Got a little grudge on against him, huh? Oh, what do you mean you're closed today? Oh. Well, that sucks. Guess we're not buying a chicken today, no matter what. <laughs> well, I didn't want to buy a chicken today anyway, so that'll teach you. Right, Brandon? Brandon agrees. Brandon's probably never seen a chicken before. Oh dear. What now? Oh, Mika, hello. You wouldn't happen to have seen Officer Harris is out and about, would you? No? Well, I will wait a little longer then. You are familiar with his patrol route, yes? He ought to be passing by here before terribly long. Thus, I thought to wait here for him. I have something I'd like to give to him. Is it nature-related? Hello, Miss Jennifer, and hello to you too, Mika. Hello, Officer Harris. I've been waiting for you. You have? 
The other day you were walking down the mountain in the dark and happened to twist your ankle, did you not? Gots was kind enough to inform me. Goodness, it's amazing how quickly rumors make their way through town. But yes, you heard rightly. I'm embarrassed to admit that I tripped over my own two feet and twisted my ankle. Fortunately enough, it wasn't all that bad. It healed by morning. Wow, I mean, I once sprained my foot by tripping. Actually, I've done it a couple times. And it takes a lot longer than one day. Let me tell you. Considering you have the protection of the mountain spirits, I doubt that any truly grave accident would befell you. Befall you? But knowing that you patrol these paths gives me peace of mind as I cloist cloister myself within my tent. What? Thus, I thought I might give you this in gratitude for all the good you do our community. This is a power stone. It is imbued with positive energies that will protect you from accident and harm. This mountain abounds with good energy, and powerful power stones are plentiful. This one happened to be the strongest I found. I hope you'll find it to your liking. Oh, he loves it. Goodness, a gift for me? Thank you very much for your kindness and consideration. I'm sure this will be most effective. I gladly accept your thoughtful gift, and will take good care of it. Now then, I'd best return to my patrol, if you'll please excuse me. Of course. Good day, Officer Harris. You know, it's hard to shake the feeling that poor Officer Harris is struggling under an unlik unlucky sign. Not in terms of health, though. I have little worry that illness or injury will befall him. No, I speak of romance. I hope that Power Stone will counteract some of his poor luck and bring him into alignment with an auspicious star. I'm sure it was no coincidence you happened to be here, Mika. I thought I'd give you a stone as well. But I get the impression you don't need it. I feel a strong energy about you, as if you have spiritual protection. You know, I have wondered this for some time now, but who exactly are you, Mika? Uh, I am the protagonist of this game? <laughs> um, does she think we're like some kind of deity or something? I don't know. I don't know what's going through that head of hers. It's probably better that we don't ask. But, yeah, does she have a crush on Officer Harris? Kind of seems that way, right? I honestly don't know. These new characters, like, were they s trying to make them weird? Because they succeeded. They definitely succeeded in that. I mean, if they wanted Brandon and, and Jennifer... I keep wanting to say Julia because... <laughs> I've been watching a lot of 90 Day Fiance and there's a couple that's Brandon and Julia. Oh no, I just publicly admitted that I watched 90 Day Fiancé. It's true, I do. That show, like, is so insane that it, it helps me stay sane, I guess. <laughs> I can't believe there are people actually that crazy in the world. It makes people like me look incredibly normal. If you ever feel abnormal, just watch that show. And, uh, you'll feel better about yourself, trust me. Alright, well I was hoping to find some money by doing that, but <laughs> didn't exactly work out the way I hoped. I guess we're gonna call it here. Didn't really accomplish much, but we did see some weird events with Brandon and Juliet. <laughs> Julia! There we go again! <laughs> Jennifer, sorry. But yeah, next time we're gonna actually buy a chicken, so that will be exciting. So yeah, thanks for watching.